Your letter said, it isn't ticking. Something awful had happened. There was nothing Once to be there done. Was a gap of many years, during she climbed which down I from the chair the and we tiptoed back to the garden where we sat on a rock and ate cakes. I've read about vast grand English houses. I swam in the sea with my sisters. Backwards, or forwards, or backwards, round and round and round it went. Somebody broke the mechanism of the mermaid wall clock. I think it might have stopped, Violetta said. When I went back, I experienced one of the truisms of the person who returns to the childhood house. The house had shrunk. The garden that had stretched for such a long, long way was the size of an ordinary suburban block. floated away like a bird on the water. With stories such as this, Agnes could, in a sense, comfort herself for the sadness in her own life. And she was blown off the top of the cliff. all dressed up in her bridesmaid's things. pale blue cloud with that angel's face just floating off into the air. And landing with scarcely a splash in the sea. It was a favorite place of hers, they said, the cliff top. Her body was washed up on a beach miles away. Poor Violet.
like a little blue mermaid with seaweed in her hair. Love letters from her brother. Now the other terrible part was that in her room at school they found a packet of letters tied up with a ribbon. Her hat floated away like a bird on the water. Reading from The White Garden, page 84. Violetta said she had always wanted to make time go backwards. With my friend Violetta, I arrived at my grandmother's dark front door. And without seeing us or hearing us, she swept us both inside to the music room and showed us to her visitors. And together we pulled the brass knob And together, we pulled the brass knob and we were described as angels, given a plate of cakes and sent into the garden, never to be seen or heard again. Violetta said she had always wanted to make time go backwards. She has the ears of a bat and the eyes of an eagle. And before any time at all had passed, or time stood still, or our hearts stood still in our mouths, a 
priest and a coven of well-dressed women drinking tea. My grandmother's name is Florence, and she is known for her piety and brutality. Children in her presence are not heard, neither are they seen. She is far from deaf and blind. I remember or imagine the facts perhaps, but what about the heart of things, the meaning? We blew them up and let them go and they made this terrible noise like a dying pig. It depends on the point of view, on who I am and what I know. On the front lawn, there used to be a palm tree. It was huge, so I say. The facts, perhaps, but what about the heart of things, the meaning? I stare at this relative and feel my eyes begin to fill with tears. and the strange clarity of reality. Night falls, and every balloon is tied to a little light. Thank you.
I could not confidently say that when I was a child, we had parties underneath a large palm tree that grew on the lawn in front of the house. It depends on the point of view, on who I am and what I know when I'm telling you about the house and what I want you to know. The most beautiful girl in the school, at one time, Agnes said, was Violet Woods. She was so afraid of her own despair that she could not bear to face it, could not look at herself, could not look into her life. She looked exactly like an angel, with long pale hair and eyes the colour of aquamarines, but she was spoilt. Well, one Easter, she went home for her brother's wedding. And she never came back. There was something about Violet that people just couldn't refuse. The absence of peripheral pulse and heartbeat Lace and flowers and birds. She was so afraid of her own despair that she could not bear to face it, could not look at herself, could not look into her life. Agnes arranged the funeral and there was something about it that could remind people who had listened to the story of other funerals in Agnes's other stories. Even a velvet one with butterflies on it. Butterflies are deaf. And we were described as angels, given a plate of cakes and sent into the garden, never to be seen or heard again. With my friend Violetta,
Violetta said she had always wanted to make time go backwards. And we were described as angels, given a plate of cakes and sent into the garden, never to be seen or heard again. Part angel, part insect, part Italian, the back of Violetta was a sweet image of concentration as she twirled the hand on the mermaid clock. Ticking its steady little heartbeats, the mermaid clock faced Violetta. Backwards or forwards or backwards, round and round and round it went. The clock became an object, a reminder of the past, a statement of a moment when time stood still forever. With my friend Violetta, We wore our innocence with a touching sadness. We were assumed to be innocent, although suspicion forever cast its wandering shadow across us, wrinkled its brow and glanced sideways and long at us. The letter said, it isn't ticking. Something awful had happened. There was nothing Once to be there done. Was a gap of many years, she climbed which down from the chair and we tiptoed back to the garden where we sat on a rock and ate cakes. I've read about vast grand English houses. I swam in the sea with my sisters.